Okay, so today we're going to show you how to use a, a BOA ankle brace. It's like a um, traditional um, lace-up ankle brace, but uses the BOA technology rather than using laces. And I'll show you how that works. Um, I think the only brace company that makes this is DeRoyal. They got the patent or the license to use the, the BOA. So what we do is this BOA dial, when it's loose, it just spins freely and all the laces are loose. To make it tight, we push it in, it clicks, and then makes that clickety sound as it tightens. And then when you go to take it off, pull it out. So we'll get it loose, we'll put it on like a chute, slide our foot through here. We want to kind of get it past that wide part of your toes right here. Once you get it right here, you scoop it in, and at that point you'll notice there's a heel cup right here to grab your foot, to grab your heel so you're in there properly. Now also, when I'm showing you how to tighten this up, I want your foot in this 90 degree position. I don't want your foot pointing downward. That's the position you should be in. So what we do is we get it on. We make sure our tongue is level. It's not twisted. We make sure the corners aren't popped out. Once we get it kind of set where we think we need it to be, we push in. And we'll start hearing that clickety-click, and you'll see it's starting to tighten down. And as we're doing that, we pay attention to all aspects of the brace. We make sure it's straight, level and everything's going as planned okay now the little design flaw in this brace unfortunately is that it tightens from the top through this dial so it's pulling up and if you notice it's getting kind of snug here but down here it's really loose you can't grab those laces they're too slippery so a little trick i found is you go when it starts to get kind of snug up here and it's still loose down there go under the tongue push forward then turn the dial under the tongue push forward usually three to four times and then turn the dial that's getting all that slack out from down at the bottom. It's pulling up and getting it out of there. There we go. Looks like everything's pretty straight. Good to go. Now I'll show you how to do the main support straps. We got two long straps here and two little ones in the back. It'll serve a purpose at the end, but they actually just get in the way till the end. So these two straps crisscross over the front. It doesn't matter if you do left strap on top right or vice versa. But whatever strap you start with, you start on the outside, you go over the foot, underneath the arch heel, and then the side over here, you have to move the strap out of the way. If there's a Velcro strip, you pull it and lay it flush right on that Velcro strip. Same thing on the other side. You go over the foot, under the arch, and you look over here, if there's a Velcro strip, you have to move this out of the way, lay it down on there. Now you might see my other video, I tell you that we just pull flush, we don't pull hard, because we're going to tighten them at the same time together. At this point now, these are still in the way. You move them to the front, and we'll grab both straps, at least two fingers each, undo them both, and pull up nice and strong and equally, and then lay them down while pulling. That gives you your true support. And then, these two little straps finally have a purpose. They cover up these so they don't catch on stuff. So they go to the back, sticky first, and then you lay your soft one right on top. And that is your BOA ankle brace. Now, we wear a tube sock, um, because this can kind of cut in your skin right over an ankle sock. Also, ankle socks inside the brace, if they start to slide down, you have to take the whole brace off just to fix your sock. So always suggest that you wear a tube sock. Also, when you're walking around throughout the day, this might start getting a little bit looser. What's nice is you can just reach down and click it a few more times. Or maybe you made it too tight, so you're like, ah, oh, it's digging into me. So what you can do is you can pop it, loosen it up a little, but remember, you got to click it back in or else it's not secure. And then just don't tighten it as much. Now you got a little more play. To take it off, you just reverse the steps, and at the end, you pop that, and it'll come right off your foot. And that's your uh, Dororo Boa ankle brace.